what is the most fundamental resource for the world in 2021? Food! Internet! Yes, food. Food will always be fundamental. Food security arises from the stability of food provision, not only in terms of quantity, but also quality of food nutrition. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, also known as FAO, uses a suite of food security indicators in order to assess prevalence of undernourishment. This is complemented by the Food Insecurity Experience Scale. But there are some parts of the world that are suffering from hunger and starvation. Most of them are coming from the least developed region, not necessarily because of the capacity of their soil to cultivate food. Especially during crisis, food security is at risk. Economic recession, dry season, or recent COVID-19 pandemic have shocked the food supply around the world. The crisis would alarm every country to protect their domestic demands and steer food nationalism, which questions the idea of the resilience of our food security. Global institutions like the UNFAO and the World Food Programme have initiated food assistance schemes and actions such as the UN Decade of Action on Nutrition and the FAO Food Coalition to address challenges in global food security. However, the success of such initiatives heavily rely on the commitment of UN member nations and this could be especially challenging in times of crisis like the COVID-19 pandemic when food nationalism sentiments are at the strongest. During these times, member nations put low priority on their commitment to international aid, safeguarding their own self-interest first. Aside from commitment, these initiatives also require the donation of funds from member countries in order to succeed. That said, global institutions like the FAO play a facilitatory rather than an instructive role in tackling global food challenges. Therefore, they are severely limited in influencing the actions of each member nation. The success of these collective efforts heavily rely on harmonious multilateral efforts among each nation. We need to strengthen the food coalition for future shock by embedding thermostatic institutions and involving private sector players. By using scientific indicators, the right-based sustainable food coalition will activate dormant policy during food crisis. The new framework has three main parts, monitoring, alert and progress. Institutes will monitor food crisis level globally. If there is a food crisis, the FAO will alert and activate partnering food and logistic companies. In addition, the vulnerable and marginalised member of that society will be identified and prioritised. One condition that we have for the affected country is that they must join the dialogue to identify and resolve the root cause of the food crisis. In our world fractured with politics, a well-designed dialogue is key to better global cooperation. Instead of relying on national governments for funding, this new framework will instead seek funding from companies and individuals. We know getting buy-in from partners isn't easy, but our solution is a win-win situation for everyone, and here is why. Food companies with excess food can sell them at cost price, minimizing storage costs and food wastage. Banks can ensure that their investment is safe by providing low interest loans to these countries. We believe each crisis is the opportunity to do better. better.